Seems like a lot of people are upset at Fresh and Fit right now. It's going mainstream. <laughs> yeah. Shout out the Shade Room. Everybody's sending us. Everybody. Food. Yeah. Every, everybody. Somebody says I'm super corny. They said, yo, y'all got to reply. Gotham needs you. I was like, this time down. <laughs> Calm the fuck no. down. It's not that deep. No, nobody needs us. And some folks got mad after the last video. And they're like, you guys are fucking, you're full of shit. You didn't just leave a Google review. No, that's, that's what we did. And we told you that that broom is garbage. That's what we did. <laughs> we left a Google review. Read this. <laughs> Read it. Read it. <sighs> Where's brooms in Miami? All they got are dust bags and cans. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know why I left that review? On their building. <laughs> <laughs> I left it. Building. Give you guys a quick resume because a lot of y'all probably don't know what happened. So quickly, all right, they had a a, a guest come on their pod, Asian, Asian doll, doll, I think Asian doll, which is a weird name off the top. Uh, she came in halfway through the pod. She's late, and her and another person were having a conversation off the mic a little bit, but it's still getting picked up. Myron gets a little upset. Guys, guys, sidebar, sidebar conversations, please. All right. What about I've you? told you this is like you know this is like the fifth uh, time I've told you that, right? Yes. Six time. Like I'm stop. Sorry. For real, like stop. Hey, mean. <laughs> no, I'll just keep it real, man. Like, you haven't cool. been here. Oh, yeah, it's the whole show. Come yeah, she's been doing it the whole show. I'm not mean as. So, how are you gonna come on somebody's show not know what go down and say, "Oh, you're mean." It don't matter. Okay, we well, can get. Uh, get off the show. Chill out, bro. Listen, don't do like no, that. you can go. You're not gonna come on the platform. So she leaves. And the video goes viral, people are coming after them, and they said they hate black women. Why? Because clips surface. So let's just play the clip. So the first clip comes out, and it's basically them being asked about a dating app for black women. And they're like, yo, listen. What about the black dating app called Black? <laughs> oh, I, I, it's funny, I never used that one, bro, but oh, hey, man. man. <laughs> I mean, hey, bro, if you want to date a bunch of Shaniquas, go for it, man. LaQuisha. I, yeah, like I, me and Fresh aren't really down with the brown nah, like that. Man. We ain't night Riders. Nah, so bro, I'm good. Uh, you know, sometimes if they're, you know, red bone, but like in general, me and Fresh uh, don't dabble in the dark, if you know what I'm saying. Yep. And people lost their mind. And then afterwards, after the backlash, Myron's like, listen, what's wrong with having a preference? When it comes to dating and your personal preferences, it's no one bats an eye. When women say I want a man that's six feet tall, makes a certain amount of money, blah, blah, blah. Those are considered preferences. But if I say, hey, man, I don't date black girls like that. Oh, God. You hate black women. How dare you? You know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. My mom's black. Your mom's black. Yeah. My sister's black. Like, bro, we just have a preference. It's not the same thing. There's a difference between having preferences. That's one thing. And there's another thing about dissing a motherfucker. When you're saying, I don't want to date Shaniquas, you're not stating your preferences. They're not mad about your fucking preference. They're mad about you dissing the other one. But hey, you know what? Maybe they were just joking. Okay. Yeah. Maybe they don't have negative opinions of black ladies, okay? And they were just using Shaniqua as a joke for humor. It's possible. It's possible. Okay? But then Fresh has to open his mouth. And yeah. I, I don't know what's wrong with Fresh, but this nigga cannot stop taking L's, okay? L listen. Listen to Yo, Fresh. Yo, Barbados, stand up. I know you don't, you don't, claim, you don't claim him. I ain't gonna lie. Just, just keep it real. I don't really date black girls. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not because, like, no, no. Like, like most black girls are, like, Snicky. annoying. How to put this? Uh, ratchet. And they don't know how to like be Carry reserved. Them. You're like the complete opposite. You are so not the stereotype. You, you are not, not the stereotype. That is not a compliment. All right. Oh. Like I'm when the motherfucker tells me, oh, you're beautiful for a black man. That really, there's a lot. It's not just, yeah, the person called me beautiful, but that's fucked up. That's still fucked up. So when you say, no, but you're not like that, you really talk like a white tooth. Ah, you're not like the rest of them, naggers. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Think about what he said. You're annoying. You're not, you, you see, you're not ratchet, right? So, so that's his perception of black. People. Yeah. And not I, recognizing, like, there's a variety of women out there who are black who have a different experience. You don't encounter them fresh because you live in nightclubs. You live faking your lifestyle. You're stuck constantly around women who are on IG. So, of course, there's going to, again, be a selection bias, right? Where the only type of women you're going to meet are ratchets. You get what I'm saying? It's like, even though, and I think it's so funny that Fresh says this stuff. It's like, but the one girl he wanted to wife out turned out to be a sugar baby who's coaching men on how to, uh, coaching women on how to fucking play men. It's, it's, just, it's just funny to me that these guys talk like this. Whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. I said, certified freak. Seven days a week. 
There's some wet ass P word. Make that pull out game weak. Yeah, 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 you effin' with some wet ass P word. Bring a but I digress. High standards. I like I like the way fresh always comes in to add a little grain of salt and it always like it's perfectly like that. He, it's like he, he's a scammer man. that tells on himself. Yes. He's a scammer that tells on himself. Myron can at least keep up a good facade. Yeah. He can he can put yeah. up a good projected yeah, good yeah, image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fresh is just no. Like no. bruv, you you don't like black women, just say that. <laughs> Y'all are ghetto, ratchet, and disgusting, you smell bad. But I don't have a problem with black what are you talking about? Fre Fre let let any white person talk about black dudes the same way you would say what? Yeah, black guys uh, you know, they're ratchet, they're ghetto, they smell bad and they're unemployable. What the fuck? But that's how you think. And here's the thing, a lot of people want to be able to say racist stuff without actually ever staying owning the moniker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, I know, I know, you said some racist shit to me, another plan. Hey. You gonna send me back? That's another shit that a Gavin or a Steven would have said. I'm gonna send you back on your boat to your country, hey, but you know damn well what the fuck you was doing. Yeah. Talking like a bing, 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 nigga, it's you. You can say whatever you want. You can say, I have a preference for this, Asian men, black women. Nothing wrong with that. When you say, I wouldn't date black women because physically they're just not my type. Nothing wrong with that. I want to date white women because culturally it's more in line with me. Nothing wrong with that. I don't want to date Asians because they got slanted eyes and honestly they're too quiet for me. And I think they're kind of losers. Do we not see the difference? <laughs> Do we not see the difference? Right? People love to masquerade their negative views about certain groups as a preference, okay? Right? I remember I remember this. I was dating this white girl, okay? This was when I was, like, about 19. And we were getting serious. It was going well. And she told me, I want you to be my parents. And you already know. Deuces. I said, sure. And the day before I was supposed to meet her parents, I'm like, do they know I'm black? She said, no. Oh. I said, what you doing? What you, but that's the thing. The privilege really sometimes prevents you from seeing those things. Yes. I was, I was, but, really, but I was also really. like, but, Nick. But you know, hey, go go tell go go tell. I said go tell him. She said nah. Go. I don't. Go, there's not go, a problem. Go I said go. Tell your parents. Go. I'm not Gavin. Go. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people out there. No. Y'all know your parents are racist. All right. <laughs> and I ain't talking about white people. I'm talking about everybody. Yes. You don't know your parents are. racist until yes and, and, and to be fair <laughs> okay yeah, shout out to my mom but hey she'd be saying some wild things i'd be looking at her like that's racist okay <laughs> <laughs> it is. I, I don't even whisper it i'm like that's racist but i still because you mom okay her dad was like eventually her dad came out and said listen i don't want my daughter with a black man okay now okay. i'm not mad at that you want your daughter to date a white dude because culturally and whatever cool go ham she said, I don't want my daughter to date a black guy because they're ghetto. Now, do you guys see the difference? Can we all understand the difference? Now, look, again, you know, what Fresh and Fit should have done is what a lot of the other Manosphere guys do, which is just like, man, listen, black women are the worst, and I don't recommend dating them, right? That's what a lot of these guys in the Manosphere just straight up say. And I'm not mad at it. You know, at least you're outwardly projecting your real views, and that's cool. But y'all front on that point. Preach, what do you think? Brooms and dustpans. Yeah. <laughs> well, what? Why is it that so many of these Manosphere guys have so many negative things to say about black women? I I don't know. Yeah. A lot of them do. Yeah, they do. They a lot of them do. Well, I mean, if you look at society, I don't know. If you look at society and the way well, society has been treating black women, you know, it's just a general thing, mm -hmm. and they amplify it. So they're gonna take that and they're gonna just amplify it. I believe. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We want to hear what you guys think. What do you guys think in the comments below? Let us know. I want to hear from you.